All right, it's a, another very beautiful day in Iraqi Kurdistan. Oh, we are off on an adventure to go find some ancient ruins from the Assyrian Empire. And wow, this overlook is beautiful. It's our last day, we're hitting the airport here in just a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes, in like an hour or two. Finding cool ruins makes it, it's hard. This is a little sketchy, but Brian, how have you led us this far astray? We're gonna fall and die. Yay! Yay! For the record, it's actually a lot steeper than it looks like on camera. It's basically straight down. Jamin, why don't you demonstrate how you can fall? <clears throat> <laughs> All right, do this. I'll get it on camera. Go for it. Well, whoo, that just slipped. Avalanche. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brian went the other way. Okay. For the record, we just came down that right there. No problem at all. Where are we going, everybody? Wow, that's a view. Look at that. Beautiful. That's Sennacherib. Right, right there? Is that Sennacherib? In the front, yeah. The others are standing on animals. So. They're gods. So you've got. See, what is. What kind of animal? What's um, this right here? That's like, you're gonna find it on the 25,000. It's called a, uh, I forget, wow. but it's like a dragon headed something. Wow. Oh, it's on, the, it's on their cache. It's like a lion headed thing. Oh, wow. What was this used for and like, where did it go? Like, was it a canal or? Oh, this is um, kind of just showing his, his power. Like over there you see a hill. Oh, right in the middle of the city there. Yeah, that possibly was maybe the closest town where... Right there. I guess they would look up here and see... So way up this mountain here, and he's like, oh, hold on, let me just carve some images of myself to look good to the world. Yeah. What, 3,000 years ago? About 2,600, yeah. 2,600. <laughs> that is stupid old. Stupid old. There was a canal that would it's like down there towards the bottom. Yeah. Wow. Who's that guy up there? That one? That's yeah. a lady. Possibly. <laughs> I Ishtar. can't think. <laughs> Ishtar, possibly? Who knows? And then it's an awkward at the end. Hey, look, a lion. Looks like a lion. Can't see anything, but it's cool. Look at that. I mean, can you imagine? Some dude 2,600 years ago walked up this mountain with a chisel and probably sat here for a really long time whacking this thing. But this is relatively soft rock. Like, how is it this well preserved? Well, I mean, that's amazing. Part in the cut. You see well, that? yeah, because see, it's cut in. So you're not getting like that's rainfall on it yeah. as much, at least. You carved inside the rock. <laughs> so that's a chair. Right <laughs> or is, it's like a, a seat for this no, goddess it's here. Crazy. Oh, so that's well, it's kind and of. And there's damaged, images. But. Yeah, you can't see it. The other ones, you, I probably could point out better on the other ones over there. Wow. But it's like a weird creature. Yeah, I'm sure. It's like uh, winged, with a, with a winged, winged, winged guy. Wow. Okay, so okay, so this dude on the end right here, right this, here. That's Sennacherib. That's Sennacherib. He's touching his nose or holding his hand like this. It's like a a, a wor like way to worship the gods, like showing okay. humility to them. Man, this is like the OG of billboard propaganda. And, and he's also at the very end, face like. Oh, yeah, there he is. the same direction that the gods are facing. Okay, so that's him all over here at the end. And then the gods yeah. facing and all this way. And the gods way. are on their animals that represent them. And then there he is in the end again. Oh, yeah, they are on animals. So, so the first one, the Asher, his wife, Mulusu, then Sin, uh, Shamash, Adad, and Ishtar. Man. Okay, so yeah. what's this big hole right here? That was cut up by like Nestorian monks. So they whacked that out and put it in a museum somewhere? No, they would have like cut it out and went inside like as a cave or something. Oh, you're like saying Nestorian, monks yeah, way back way in the back, day. Yeah. yeah, okay, so it's ancient as well. Yeah. Dude, and this, this is in a pretty good sized cliff actually. Yeah. So, so Storm God, right? Yeah. That one, okay, so Holding second one in? Bolts, yeah. Man, he's holding lightning bolts. 
legit. Wait, so this other one holding that ring, what's here? Yeah, they, they all the rest of them are like holding like their their scepter, uh, like a ring and a rod. It had to do with what like the divines held, maybe as a symbol for measurement, like they. Uh, okay. Had, a wide kingdom. So what about uh, this cool sun-shaped thingy on top of their heads? Um, well, the one, it's to symbolize that it's Shamash. I don't, I don't know the, the, the rest others. because there's different ones that actually have different symbols on top of that. Okay, so we had the original one over there. And so then there's a gap in the cliff where they didn't carve anything <laughs> and now we got this piece, I guess. Yeah. Like, same deal? Same procession? Same, same deal, same procession. Okay, because right, right, okay, so right over there's Sennacherib again doing his paying homage to the gods. He's holding up, he might have been holding a lotus flower. He's kind of blacked like out on this one. Yeah, somebody lit a fire there and it kind of blacked it out. Yeah. That's sad. Like, I can't see him. But, wow, you can see the animals that the gods are riding on them way better. Yeah. What are those? <laughs> um, Weird creatures. The, the, the first one is a bull in a mushasu, a mythical Mesopotamian dragon that has the body of a snake, the front legs of a lion, and the rear feet of an eagle. That does sound like a mythical creature. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those don't exist. Right, which one is it? Yeah, which that's one the, is that's that? The first, that's the second. Like that's the tall, like the thing with the long neck, somewhat. That guy right there. They're actually really big. It's hard like to get perspective until you're up here. Uh, okay. There it is. I can just touch him. And these things are actually pretty big. Like, they're as tall as me almost. Just to set the setting, this is ancient Assyria. That was an ancient city. We're way up on a mountain here. Okay. So we come up over. That's our team. And right here is like Sennacherib's board. So there's one. And then we have the second one over there. We were looking at right there. And then there's one way over there with the whole thing. That's incredible. And there's new graffiti on it. Yeah. I wish people wouldn't do that, but, uh, but I guess like you have ancient stuff on the side of a mountain, it's really easy to come up here and just deface it. Check that out, the detail. Wait, what was that? They, they, they did that museum. Was that wow. Oh. Wow, like you can see the the harnesses and bridle on the horse and like the hooves and and do you, do we know what they're holding? Those are rods it's, or measuring rods or something yeah. like <laughs> that is just. Crazy. Look at that. Like, I don't understand how you could have that level of detail this many years later. It's an accurate behind me with all his dudes. This is awesome. Brian, thanks for showing us. We should get out of here. Also, we have a flight to go home, right, Jamin? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's go. We should go. Bye, Sennacherib. It's been real. Dude, you got a legit beard. Check that beard out. Oh. Kendall would be proud. Kendall would be proud, yes. Okay, and then this is the other section. So there's three sections here. Doot, doot, doot. And this is the first one we saw. That's amazing. Snack rib on both sides with his column of gods and goddesses. Um, it's wild. It's like this guy built a billboard almost 3,000 years ago, and we're still looking at it today going, wow. I just wish it would be preserved. It's like graffitied, and you can see people have damaged it. Um, it's really sad. It's kind of hard to get to. So if it was easier to get to, I'm sure it'd be long destroyed by now over the centuries. But wow, makes one think. Ancient Assyria, this is the land that Jonah and Nahum talked about in the Bible. Um, go read the book of Jonah and you'll give you a little more context. He would have been fairly close to this region around this same time. Maybe he saw this. Hmm. Hey Trish, maybe Jonah hiked up here and took a look at these once. That's a really cool thought. Okay. We gotta go. We got a flight to catch. How did you do that? Do you need How? A good, How? What's a good hike with all little danger? How? I'm just trying to find it. <laughs> to see like 2,600 year old archeological ruins, this is the amount of effort we go to to get you videos like this, y'all. So you should like and subscribe because this is a lot of work. <laughs> Trish, do not fall down. Ah, a bit of a hike. It was a good little piece down there. We still have a piece to go. This is the north side of the mountain. And since it's December, Lots and lots of dew and stuff, so it's kind of wet, which makes this moss not very good to walk on. Yay! Basically to the top. Woo! Wow, that's some nice, beautiful sunlight. A little touch of golden hour, even though it's only like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Dude, Jamin, look. Couches. Right there. Couches. Wow, that would be a view right there. 
What do you think, guys? Sit down, take a break. Oh. Wouldn't that look nice? <laughs> is this like a restaurant or something up here? Yeah. yeah that is awesome. Oh yeah, there's another couch. That was definitely worth doing. If you're ever here and you know a local that knows how to get you to that spot, have them definitely have them take you. It's a bit of a hike, but it's totally worth it. Okay, let's get out of here.